How long did you start yourself with Hayden Whitehead? Hey, Hayden. Um, just what has this season been like thus far? I mean, obviously you came here from overseas, you know, hoping to play for a good football program, obviously. But to be a part of a 3-0 and team that's top 10, I mean, how uh, much does that fit or exceed your expectations that you had when you came here? Um, talking to Coach Allen uh, when I was coming over here first, you know, it was definitely something that he wanted to build and he's been very open about, um, you know, building Indiana into one of those top programs. So um, whilst it was maybe a little bit surprising to people outside of the program, uh, this 3-0 and start definitely isn't surprising to us. Um, something that we thought we could achieve and worked hard to achieve. So um, now that it's happening, it's just a little bit of the reward for the hard work paying off, I guess. Right, Matt Weaver and then Paul Gable. Hey, hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm okay. Obviously, coming from Australia, it's different over there. I'm assuming with, you know, you guys' um, view on college football and the top programs, but did you, when beating Michigan, beating Penn State, the kind of history that the program is making, is this something that you kind of knew about before you came here, or is it something you just learned as you as you've gotten to Bloomington and, and become part of the program? Uh, definitely something I had to learn a little bit coming over here. Um, one thing that I was talking to uh, my parents about earlier this week was when I started following college football um, back in Australia, Michigan was one of the teams that um, I kept close tabs on. So um, Saturday after the game and even during the game towards the end was a little bit of a, just a wow, you know, how cool is this moment? Um, finally getting to beat one of the teams that not only I um, supported early on, but now got the chance to play against four years in a row and um, knock them off this year. Um, it's something that um, you know I'm proud of myself individually, but even more proud of uh, this program for achieving. So I think it's only um, you know good things for the next couple of years for Indiana. Paul and Brockway. Hayden, for those not familiar, how, how tough was it for you to adapt to American football? Um, yeah, a little bit of a challenge. Uh, the main thing was probably getting uh, accustomed with the rules and especially, uh, you know, formations, that t kind of thing, especially on special teams. Uh, to be honest, I'm still learning a couple of the rules. Um, there was a few calls on Saturday and, you know, even in previous games that I still didn't really understand, but... Um, yeah, it was a little bit of a challenge, but um, I definitely feel accustomed now uh, in my fourth year. Yeah. All right, Tim, then Dylan Wallace. Hey, uh, coaches have talked about your leadership on special teams. I don't know if there's any examples of that uh, that you try to portray kind of day in and day out, and how important do you think that role? Um, yeah, an example of that is probably... Um, Going back to that last question, now that I know the formations on punt that we run a little bit better, um, I sort of have that confidence to step up and pull guys up if they're either not doing their job or maybe are aligned, um, not in the right spots. Just little things like that um, are the areas that I feel like I can contribute really strongly to um, stepping up into a little bit more of that leadership role. Um, and then I just try to you know, be a positive influence uh, off the field, in the weight room, um, all of those type of things that you would expect from someone that's been here for uh, four years. So um, at least from my perspective, I don't think I'm doing anything special, but um, I definitely have consciously tried to step up into a, a little bit more of a leadership role. All right, Dylan, and then back to Jamba. And uh, how would you sort of evaluate your performances through the first three weeks. I think Coach Allen might have mentioned a few missed opportunities to get Penn Michigan within the fives this past Saturday. I mean, just what do you kind of look at uh, and maybe you like or dislike about the first kind of three weeks for you? Um, I think it's uh, positive in the sense that, you know, I have hit a couple of good balls um, and limited return yards on most of, um, most of our punts. But then um, on the other side of that, I also think I've left a few out there, a few that could have been better, um, you know, we had, I think, a couple of returns on Saturday and, like you said, a missed opportunity to pin Michigan deep. So, um, yeah, whilst I'm happy overall with how the start of the season's gone, um, definitely not satisfied, I would say. Um, always looking to get better and, um, yeah, a little bit disappointed that I left a couple out there, but looking to fix that as we get through the season. All right, John, and then Matt Weaver. 
Uh, just going back to, you're talking about Michigan was one of the first schools you really paid attention to or knew of. I mean, was this during the recruiting process? Did you um, start paying more attention to American football? And um, when you first heard from Indiana, I mean, had you heard much about them as far as a football program or was that somewhat surprising? Um, yeah, it probably even goes a little further back than the recruiting process, to be honest. Um, yeah, we all know how big of a school and big of a program they are. So it was one of the ones that I was drawn to um, early on following college football. Um, and then, yeah, I, I knew of Indiana, obviously, from playing in the Big Ten and playing against those big schools. You know, this conference is obviously a, a premier conference in the country. So, um, yeah, it was definitely cool not only to know that I was going to come and um, help build on a program such as Indiana, but, yeah, also get to play against those sort of big schools that um, – I'd followed from early on, so um, it's definitely nice as well to start having some success against those programs, and it'll be nice to hopefully watch that continued success once I'm done. All right, Matt Weaver, last one. Um, yeah, <clears throat> Hayden, the, um, the Rutgers game, when you were you guys were punting, I think, from around midfield, you used your right foot. Is that something, I know you're comfortable doing that from your background over in Australia, but is that more when you're trying to pin them deep or trying to kind of pooch it down or, or is it a situational thing when when do the coaches or when do you want to when think about using your right foot instead of your left foot uh, I probably can't give too much away can I um, <laughs> no it's uh it's just something that we've been working on I know coach T wants to use um, both feet if we can so um, we've been working on it this off season and um, I guess we'll see how many times we use it for the rest of the year all right, all right thanks Hayden all right thanks guys